Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here for a late night unbagging. We're going to open this big fat jewelry bag that I've had for a little while. It's pretty heavy. I tried lifting it and I actually burst it at the seams over here in the corner. But I thought I would do this one tonight. Um, especially since I had such a horrible one go up just the other day. And that was only because I had to edit it. When I filmed it originally, it was it was actually on square mode, so everything was being shown to you kind of sideways, <laughs> and then it was shortened up, and so I edited it on the computer, though I filmed it on my phone, right? And that always plays havoc, it can, and my editing skills are not the best, but I tried, and I really wanted to show you that, that little butterfly, that James Avery butterfly that I had found, so I didn't want to sacrifice it. But come back tomorrow as well. Tomorrow I'm going to show you some jewelry encounters from the Goodwill jewelry counter. And they're amazing pieces in here. I can't wait to show you that. And hopefully I'll get a few other pieces that I've won at auctions that I can show you as well. I was uh, watching Casey unbox some things. That's Casey over at Geisha Treasures, guys. If you're not familiar with that channel, get familiar with it. It's really a cool one. And um, he stumbled upon some free jewelry that was just amazing. So I'm hoping to see more of that, uh, maybe at his auction if he does one, or um, any kind of unboxings and things that he does. They're a lot of fun, so be sure and check him out. But I'm going to get started with our bag here. Hey, Jude, how are you? I'm glad you're here. I, uh, like I said, I don't normally like to do these huge bags Especially late at night, you guys are not even going to want to stay up. Let me lift this up just a tad. You're probably going to get really sleepy, but people said, I like to see you untangle them, so that's what we're going to do. This was a $50 bag, and um, I do get a slight discount, so I got it for, what, about $35, I guess, $37, something like that. Pretty ring right off the top. Look at that. Ooh, I think it's just silver tone, but that's a beautiful color. Ooh, another ring. You know what? There was a time when I never got rings. I remember I would watch Zombie, Makeup Zombie here on YouTube. She does great bags too. And her and Carla at Princess Castle, and they always pulled out the rings. And I rarely got any. And I would say, man, I never get rings. And lately we've been getting good on the rings. This is a pretty one too. Let's see if it's magnetized. I don't see a mark on it right off the bat, but let me check it out. If you're new to the channel, guys, this is kind of the stuff we do here. We do talk a lot about jewelry. We talk a lot about resell, selling these items. Not just, I don't just sell jewelry. I sell everything, everything under the sun. Um, but we do a lot of shows like that, and we do ride-alongs. This is a beautiful piece. I think this is a spinel or spinel. How do you pronounce that? Somebody school me. Spinel is what I've heard. No, maybe not. I think it's just silver tone, but it's sure cute. And it's big, so it'll make a nice stackable piece. So we do ride-alongs, we do hauls, we do unbaggings and jarrings, and all of that with jewelry. That looks really cute. You know, look at this ring, how interestingly beautiful it is. This little green one. Uh, my friend, Vanessa Heron, sent it to me about six months ago. And I saw it always orange, orange, orange. And and it looks beautiful. I like to wear it with my amber. And I saw it today at work and it turned green. And she said it turns purple too. I don't know what kind of a stone it is, but it's so cute. Look at that. It's like half orange, half purple right now. I think it might be the precursor of a mood ring. What do you think? But that's what she was telling me. And she sent me that a few months ago. I love it. All right, now back to the bag. All right, look at this one. This one's cute too. I think it's just silver tone as well. It is a cute champagne color. I'm going to have to take off my rings to show you what I'm finding here. This one's cute. Okay, so we found these two just now. They're both just silver tone, I believe. I don't see a mark on this one, but that is the prettiest color. But neither one of them stuck, so they're probably a copper base. I don't know. This one actually looks a little bit more silver than the other one. I don't see any of that rust on it or anything i'm gonna leave this one on just so you can take a look at it looks like kelly's here as well thank you for being here kelly picking treasures guillermo i saw your video i'm going to comment in a minute 
It was so cool. I love that video. Guys, go subscribe to Guillermo. He's starting to do videos now. And I'm so glad you love the rings. They look great on you. So I was watching that, but I haven't had a chance to comment. I've been watching like three or four videos at the same time. Do you guys do that? Watch a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and then go back. That's what I've been doing. Oh my gosh, it's the crosses again. Remember these crosses? Remember when I got like 20 of them, then we got some good stuff along with it too? I forgot what it was. I think it was, I think it was James Avery or some gold that we got. But we must have gotten 20 of these rosary crosses, crucifixes. And look, they threw them in again. So now I remember what jewelry, what goodwill I got these from. This was the one in the corner by my house. Yeah. All right. Well, we're ready. We're ready with the crosses. Oh, my goodness. And let me see who else is in here. Hey, how are you, Cindy? Thanks for being here. That's Jewelry Nurse there as well, guys. If you're not subscribed, go check her channel out, too. She does auctions, too. Her and uh, Vicki Porter, they're great. Okay, I can't read this, but it reminds me of a of um, John Hardy or something. But there is a mark, but it looks kind of, looks like a silver tone tarnish in there. So I can't quite tell. But I'm going to take this ring off too so you can see. <laughs> this is the ring my daughter gave me, James Avery. Isn't that cute? It's copper. Copper on the uh, accents. That's really a cool ring. I don't see a mark on it that I can read anyway. Okay. Okay, it's Leah Sophia. Cool. But does Leah Sophia always make 925? Or do they make silver tone too? Oh, but, oh, you know what? I'm thinking of Sulpata. Of course they do. They mostly make silver tone. That's right. They mostly make silver tone, but they do occasionally make sterling because I remember going to their parties. Look at this cool watch popping out of here, guys. It's a, it's a lock. It's a necklace. All right, let's... I want to dump it out a little bit at a time because I always wind up finding things in the corner. All right, that was a cool, oh my gosh, that is so 60s, 67. I can date it, 67, 68. I was about 9, 10 years old. Yes, yes, yes. What does it say? That's what it looks like anyway. I don't know, but it's so cute. I hope it's a wind-up. Sheffield, shock-resistant. Anti-magnetic, Swiss made. All right, that's nice. All the beautiful words I like to hear about a watch. Swiss made, I bet it is a wind up. Oh wow, I love it. I love it already. Okay, the dial works nice. Yep, it's a wind up guys, listen. Oh, I love the wind ups. Oh, what a beautiful sound. What a beautiful sound never having to buy that battery. Just don't go too far. Oh my gosh, I love it. Look how mid-century that is. Adore it. And the chain is still nice. Hey, Carol, I'm glad you're here. Look at that. Oh my goodness, I love it. This was, wow. Yeah, this is what all the girls were wearing back in 67, 68 with their, do you guys remember, uh, they called them, was it Poor Boys or what did they call those ribbed shirts people wore? I think they were called poor boys, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's what we were wearing. I'm going to put it on right now and go back. Go back to my youth that was so carefree. It fits short too, guys. It's like right at the cleavage, so it won't bump into stuff. I love it. Okay, this is cute. little mesh around something else. Pretty cool. Be sure and hit the thumbs up, guys. If you're just walking in the door, hit the thumbs up. If you got to go to bed, do it before you leave. And if you haven't subscribed, I hope you'll do so tonight. That's a cute one. Just a little silver tone bangle. But it's got nice rhinestone work. I don't think anything's missing. Nice bangle. Another bangle. We'll put those together. I thought I saw one that looked kind of silvery a minute ago. I think it's... Oh, there's something. Hey, Vanessa, thanks for coming in. That's bone, I think. That Indian design. Very nice, but it's seen better days. It's coming apart a little bit. Definitely a bone, I believe, material there. 
Very boho. Somebody would love that. Just needs to be redone here. Maybe burned or something at the, you know, the fringes there so it doesn't so it doesn't run anymore. And then here is um some fleur de lis design on a rubber rhinestone encrusted watch. Looks like it says something on the side, but I can't tell. Looks like a lot of fleur de lis there. Okay, it says it's got some symbols like a dollar sign. Yeah, it's got something there on the side. I don't know if you can see it. Really strange. Okay. The clear bangles are fun. Rhinestone, cute. I don't see any missing either. Actually, they're kind of AB stones. Big though for me, but cute. Okay. Here's some red braiding here. This almost looks like a sterling clasp. Let me look at it. It's nice though. Really cute. Okay. <laughs> nope, looks like a base metal. Still a pretty necklace though. I like it. Pretty nice. This is a huge, hugely heavy jar. I mean bag. I lifted and it popped a hole in the corner. This is cute. So the lots of it's probably all crosses. I'm telling you, last time there was at least 20. And I never gave them away. Somebody said they wanted them and I told them just to pay the shipping they could have them because there was quite a few but then they didn't get back to me this is kind of I would say brass not copper it's got a lot of verdigris very light though just needs a bath just needs a little bath kind of a modern piece here made to look a little boho chic yep Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> what is this? Look at that. A beetle in there. <gasps> oh, my goodness. My daughter may like that. That's kind of crazy. Aren't beetles supposed to be good luck, though? Matches my little jade and pearl bracelet. <laughs> wow. I wonder if that's a real one. Probably is. <laughs> right, Jennifer? Hey, Kathleen, I'm glad you're here. What did you get from April? The bug? <laughs> oh, here's some bangles. Pink. Very 80s looking. $12. Where? Where did they try to sell that for $12? Wow. Interesting. A little expandable. Probably put that in a crafter lot. I'm going to be putting some craft lots up on my um, auction site, guys. And I'm getting ready to put a jewelry jar as well. A virgin jewelry jar. More crucifixes. Someone got out of the rosary business, for sure. <laughs> That's how long I've had this bag, guys. You remember the last one that had all those crucifixes? That was like, what, four months ago? This has been sitting over there. I think because I gave one and I wanted to make sure it wasn't from the same batch. I gave one away or something, but then I thought, you know what? There's no way I can keep track of what goes where. If you guys ever get one of my bags, just keep an eye out for any missing earrings and I'll send them to you. If you're missing some, oh my gosh, what a mess. Okay, here comes the part where you're supposed to be patient. This isn't too, too bad, but this chain is in there. And it's an earring, too. <laughs> wow. Let me take this earring out. That's a pretty earring. Very Madonna-esque. Silver tone. This is pretty. This looks like a Chico's piece or something. That's a Rivoli stone in there, too. That's really cute. And those are prongs set. That's very nice. But there's a little pesky chain stuck in it. Or maybe it's part of it. 
That's the thing. Sometimes you never know. Is there anything on the chain? No, it's just a busted chain. But let me see. It looks like it says N on it. Is that what it says? Maybe N or NY. It's just N, right? Probably Nicole or something. I've never heard of that, but that's a beautiful, beautiful medallion. Look at that Rivoli. Cute. Very nice piece. Very nicely made. All right. Tangled up with one chain, so that wasn't too, too bad. Another crucifix. I think we're up to eight. Oh, this is a cute bracelet. Puffy hearts, antiqued colors. Very cute. Oh, look, even the toggle is a heart. That's cool. Hey, Picking Treasures. Thank you guys for joining me. I really appreciate it. If I don't say hello right off the bat, it's because I'm trying to get through the jewelry. But I appreciate you being here very much. Taking time on a Tuesday when I should be sleeping and thinking about work. But you know what? I get tired of thinking about work. I think about work when I'm at work. I want to think about jewelry now. That's cute. That's really cute. I like that. Really nicely made. I kind of like these shorter statement pieces, not the whole collar thing. I just think they really look nice, and I love the antique colors too. No maker on it, but really cool. Okay. And I think I have this in every color. This is one of those statement pieces that come in every color. I know I have it in orange and pink and now in black and it's kind of cool in black. It really is. I need to take it a bath though. It is a little dusty. Okay, here's a cool bracelet. Looks like just a base metal. Yeah, it's cute though. Kind of a gold color. It's interesting. I can't quite tell if it's gold or antiqued or what. Nice scroll work. Some hippie stuff. Goes into my hippie lot over there in the corner. Oh, these are so cute. $12 is what they are. They, they must be made nicely or something. The pink one had $12 on it too. They really are cute. Red and green. Christmas. Gucci. Whatever. Okay. I should pick from the top, right? I feel like I pick from the bottom. I'll start. Oh my goodness, something fell in here. Something always falls somewhere else. Oh, let me see what it was. Yeah, I can't find it. Oh, nope, that was my ring that fell. Oh my goodness, I don't want to lose that. I'll never find it in that abyss. A little beaded ring. My daughter actually took one of these beaded rings and she was like, Mom, my little ring busted and I love it so much. I was like, oh my goodness, it's just a little beaded ring, but she really liked it. It was like a flower. This is a little pink one. It's cute. She was like, no, but it was my favorite. You just never know what people like, right? Here's a pink number. Missing a stone or two, maybe five. <laughs> It looks like they're falling off as we speak. So this may be a good harvest piece. <laughs> Cute. Okay, a watch. Lucky. This is not Lucky brand, though. This one just says Lucky, and it's got some little flames and things like that. Put that in the watch lot. And here's another watch right off the top. Oh, that one's cute. That one has a signature, too. I wonder if it's not Vera. It's really pretty. Yeah, it is. It's a Vera Bradley. That's a cute one. That's really a pretty watch. Nice band. Nice leather band. That's pretty. I like the florals. Very springy. Very timely. I do like that one. I do need to get batteries. So many beautiful watches, and I've just been kind of lazy to go. This looks like one of those rattle. Yep, it's one of those rattle ones. I sold one of these for about $40 on, oh, was it Posh? 
I don't remember, but there was a little bit of a controversy. Someone said they were rattles. Someone said they were good luck. Someone said they were for the moms, but other people said they were for something else. Regardless, they sold. Super cool. They are sterling, and they're usually not marked, but I tested the other one, and it was sterling. This is a buy. This is a find, rather. Really cool. Yeah, several people, I think it was for the Pakistani culture or something, told me about it. But then I was thinking about all the other, you know, the new mothery type of, this is definitely sterling. This one really is pretty. It's got some beautiful repose work on it. Check it out. Super, super nice. And um, yeah, so they did say that they used them for, some girls told me they used them for their babies to soothe them. And others said that they um, used them for good luck. So everybody had their own little take on it. Let's see, it's not sticking. So I will test that. Got a nice scratch, too. I already scratched it up back here. <laughs> Remember I told you you can tell just by the little scratch how chalky it comes out? Nice scratch on it, too. It smells like sterling, too. Though I don't really know what it smells like, but it smells metally. Cool. Hey, Perla, how are you? Oh, I love this little... I wish it wasn't so big on me, though. It's a big bangle. That's why I didn't keep the last one. Because they're big. Oh, here's another ring. The acrylic glass. This one's pretty. Adjustable. They threw in the rings in this one. I'm glad. Okay, we got this one, which is a Leo Sophia silver tone. That's silver tone, too. But they're cute. They really are. Black and white. Can't go wrong with that. Let me see who's in the chat. Trying to watch Thelma, Don. Cats keep getting in the way. <laughs> hey, Casey, I'm glad you came over. Oh, my gosh, Casey, you scored. I was talking about you earlier when I started for everyone to go subscribe to your channel. That's Casey there, guys, Geisha Treasures. And he came upon some fabulous finds today. He did a great haul. I have to go back and watch the beginning. I didn't watch it all. I came in late. I don't know what this was, but now it's just a little owl head. Because it doesn't look like it had any kind of a... Maybe it was a brooch and it came apart. It's really cute, though. I like it. I wonder if I should... I'm going to put it in a crafter lot. I'm building that crafter lot. It's almost full. Oh, wow. Look at those. It's the leaves. Le the, hey, if Kelly's still there, she may need these for that peacock she's working on. She's kind of embellishing that little frame I sent her, that little picture, with more stuff. That is so cool. These are beyond shoulder dusters, guys. These are breast dusters just about there. Those are long. Yes, you do. You need these. These would be perfect. You wouldn't have to ruin any brooches or anything. I'll send them to you. Too bad I already sent your other stuff already, but there'll, there'll be another auction, hopefully. I'll put those aside for you so you can craft. Oh, this is cute. These are nice beads. They're plastic, but they're super cool. And then these are those roll roll up paper beads. And these are too, aren't they? Yeah, these are as well. Then they have some kind of coating, so they have like a little sleek, like a little sleek texture. This is pretty. I like the I don't know if I really like the cross on it, even though that's a beautiful cross. But I don't I don't know if it really needs it. I think it's pretty just like that. No, that is a pretty cross, though. It's really lovely. It's got rhinestones on it. Very nice. Okay, we have some pearls. Oh, it's, a, it's a little expandable bracelet. Really nice spacer there. Cute. That's really pretty. I like that. Put the bracelets over there. Door knockers. Well, just little hoops. I thought they were door knockers. Cute. Very nice. Put that in the gold. Another ring, guys. 
that looks like silver tone too but I don't know let me look at it looks like a stone that's kind of cool how big is that oh it's not even big it's like an eight let me see what it says inside let me see what it says why can't I get a sterling I haven't gotten sterling yet have we mm -mm -mm. well it might be though let me check with the magnet that's sticking. Whoa, that magnet's so strong. It took my knife. Yeah, it's got a nice scratch, guys. Look, I'll put acid on it later, but that's a really nice scratch. I have a feeling this is sterling, and that is a beautiful stone. It is a stone. It's not plastic. Nice, um, what do you call that, banding on it or whatever. It's big, though. Too big for me, but it's not. I don't know if it's big enough for my husband. <laughs> See what size it is. I'm already. <laughs> I gotta see. Oh, it's an eight. Oh, it's a good size. It's a good size. All right. I think that's sterling. That is cool. Does anybody recognize that stone? Agate, I guess. That's the old standby, right? Agate. <laughs> what is this? Okay, we got a bent up crafter piece. Put that down there. Let's see. Okay, remember you guys wanted to see the tangles. We'll see them together then. Oh my goodness, what is this? Grow green ribbon with some black and white number there. Oh, it's a shell. Abalone shell. And it's like painted. I wonder if someone tried to get crafty with it after. It almost doesn't look like it belongs with that black stuff on it. I don't know. I'll put that in there. Who's this? Is a um, Kendra Scott wannabe, but it's not a Kendra Scott. Oh my gosh! And look, there's like three of them. <laughs> That's so funny. There's the Arrowhead one. They're kind of cute though. They're not bad looking. That's a pretty earring. Does that go together? Wow, I would have never thought that went together, but it looks good. It really does look cute. Put that over there and marry it later. And let's see if we can take this gold bangle out. Of course, I always check to see if they're not 14, because we have run into those. Really thin 14 karat gold bands. You can't tell. Bangles. That one stuck right to the magnet. Oh, this is cute. Sterling, yay, finally. Is this an earring? That's a cute earring. If oh, I hope we have the mate. I hope we have the mate. Mexico, I believe, is what it says. Mexico 925. Yeah, it says 925. That's beautiful. I don't know what they call that, that red stone. But I hope we find the mate. I'll leave it there. Yeah, that's really pretty. Thanks for being here, Lisa. Here's another gold bangle, but obviously it's just gold tone. Sometimes you can tell just by the metal in the back. But take a good look, especially if they have like little diamond cuts or they feel weighty or they feel a little heavier for the proportion to their size. That's kind of an indication of, of carat gold. So you'll want to take a, better, a second look anyway. Okay, let me see what this gold chain is doing here. Oh, the yellow one is gold tone. That's cute. I think I like this one. It doesn't look as cheap as the other silvery ones. That's pretty, and that really pretty um, acid color is cute. Cute, cute, cute. That's a beautiful chain. They did well on this chain for sure. Looks nice. I may even have to use that on one of my lockets or something. Okay, and then here's all the others. They are tangled, so we'll just look at them really quick. They're all the same. One of them is green. They're not bad looking, really. They're pretty. You know, if you don't want to spend the 150 on the Kendra or 80 on Posh, these look really nice, and they do feel nice. They feel kind of hefty. The tassels even feel nice. This one kind of looks like a little mother of pearl. 
So that's a nice little batch of Kendra wannabes. Okay, here's a little earring. That's pretty. Kind of exotic looking there. Orangey. Cute. Uh, bangle. Enamel. Actually, that's almost feels like it has tape on top. Put that in the crafter a lot. Here's another watch. This is just a uh, oh, surprise. It's not Geneva. It's an embassy. Nice white one, though. I do like white watches. Okay. Hi, Chris. I'm glad you're here. Hi, hello, strangers. Uh-oh. Got a missing piece there. So we'll just put that in the crafter lot. Halfway full with that crafter lot. And then some wood. This is pretty. This is nice in this brown color. Don't laugh at the wood, guys. I sold one on Etsy for about tw over $20. Okay, that's an interesting band there. Was it silver tone? Let me check it out with the... With the... Uh, it says Avon. Okay, it looked like a James Avery heart. James Avery makes a little heart like that. That was a score on this, guys. I'm liking that. I like that lavender, whatever the heck it is. I don't know. Hey, Leanne. How are you? Okay, these I put aside a minute ago. They popped up and I put them aside. And it's, oh, I thought it was a pair of earrings. <laughs> it's, a, it's an expandable bracelet. It's cute, though. But I'm afraid when I put these on, I'm afraid they pop. Look how cute that is. They make some of the cutest expandable bracelets. I swear they do. <laughs> it is your size, isn't it? Oh, and it's purple. Oh, my gosh. It's a conspiracy. I forgot. And I was just asking you, what size are reindeer? Oh, my gosh. I love this. This is cute. I love this motif. Oh, my gosh. This is cute. This gold antique-ish looking. What does it say? $12.99. I can see why, because I like it. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. I was wearing today, guys, I'm going to show you, because that's what I do. I was wearing this interesting necklace that I found in the jar the other day, and I thought it was jade, but I've been looking at it closer, and since I know these are jade, I now think this is green, uh, green onyx. And I was bidding on a green onyx bracelet last night in an auction, and it looked very much like this. This is really, really cold, and I think it'll look nice with this. Kind of layered up. What do y'all think? And I love the way this is like a copper in here, and there's no way. These links are copper. These are silvery. There's no way to open this, and it's super, super cold. I've been wearing it all day, and it's still cold. It's so funny. But anyway, I think it looks nice with this little necklace I just picked up. This is, I don't know, just plastic, I guess, acrylic. I love the design. I think it'll look really nice with this one that I had on today, which I'm going to take off for the evening right now. So if I don't, I'll go to bed forgetting about it. Okay, here's a cute green bangle. It's wood. Very small, too. Doesn't fit me. Look how tiny that is. Oh, sorry about that. That's the magnet. It's going to go in the bangle. Okay. I did put the wood up already. So we just saw that. But it, for some reason it came back. We have some silver hoops that are matched up. I don't believe they're sterling, but they're nice and matched up. Nope. So they'll go in an earring lot. And another expandable that's expanded a little much. A little much right now. Very nice beads. I'm going to put this in a bead lot. That's what I do with the ones that are outstretched. I don't even put them in the craft lot. I think they belong in a, in a bead lot. This is a very nice watch. It's very heavy. Beautiful pink face. Let me see the maker. Relic. Not a bad brand. Not a bad brand at all. I need to get batteries. Hey, Liz, how are you? I'm glad you're here. Okay, put the watches over there. We're doing a huge, oh my gosh, we're doing a huge giant bag. This is this is a wall decor. 
And it's missing the rhinestones. I think someone harvested them. Three, four of them are missing. This is beautiful. Could be a, a Christmas ornament too. That's very, very pretty. Just needs to be replaced. You know what? I think I would like to put like green stones on that. Something to contrast with that burgundy. That would be pretty for a Christmas tree ornament. Put that in my crafter lot. I have a crafter lot too. This is just a piece of stretchy ribbon that someone threw in there. And oh, I had some of these last time too. The little children's expandables with crosses. They're very pretty. I had quite a collection. This is from the same time where all the crucifixes and look, we're still getting the, the rosary business that went out of business. Still getting those. I think we got, what, two, three, seven. That makes nine. Nine crucifixes in this jar. But it's okay. We got a sterling ring. We got a cute bangle. Look at this. Copper base. Love this. I don't know what this is, but this is a natural element on top as well. That is so cute, Net Fuchsia. Oh, I like that. Still, Oh, look, we got a matching one, too. So we have two. Those are cute together. Very nice. And they kind of blend with uh, Kelly's ring there. Very, very nice. <laughs> I like those. I got to show you the jewelry I got from Kelly's auction a couple of weeks ago, and she'll be doing auctions soon. And that's Kelly, uh, Hip Flip and Mama there. In the chat, be sure and subscribe to her. I was, um, it's, and it happens a lot when I do, when I buy from auctions and then I get the items, I'm just always, always, it exceeds my expectations. But I'll show you that tomorrow when I show you the jewelry encounters that I just bought at um, the Goodwill with another video because it's, it, this one's going to go on long enough. I hope you brought a snack. This is a cute bangle. It's very heavy. It says $9.95 on it. It's got some kind of resin roses around it. It's a really nicely made one, though. Really cute. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry you're having trouble with your boss, Elizabeth. Oh, a cloisonne. Is this one broken, though? Oh, what a shame. It looks like it's missing one of the mechanisms, and look how pretty that is. What a shame, but what a fabulous piece to add to a crafter lot. I have a collection of these, and I especially like the ones that open up. I have quite a few of the regular bangles, but I love these especially. And that white background, that is so pretty. Too bad it's broken, but it will go in that crafter lot. Oh, that's cute. That looks like bubble gum. <laughs> that is so rockabilly, isn't it? Or pinup. So cute. Have a great night. Thank you for being here, Picking Treasures. Come back and see the replay if you get a chance. That's a cute one. All right, here is, what is this, a Brighton watch? And is it cracked? It looks like it's cracked. What a shame. Fossil watch, what a shame. Yep, the crystal is cracked. Look at that with the butterflies. That might be salvaged, though, to make some kind of, maybe another band on another watch. Because that is too cute. Bees and flowers and butterflies and ladybugs. Yeah. Maybe able to salvage that. That is so pretty. My goodness, what a shame. What a shame that's going to be in the repair lot. He needs to do something with that. Here is... Some kind of hoop earring. With some extra hair there. It's a nice stone, though. It's a real stone. I wonder if that's not silver. It's not sticking, y'all. Here's a stretchy, a stretchy band, stretchy bracelet, expandable. That's what I was trying to mix up. Too many words there. Put that on the crafter. I'm going to look at this real close. I think it might be sterling. That's a nice stone on there. Yep, 
Yeah, I am. This is definitely a genuine stone. I'm thinking this is sterling. I don't see the mark yet, but uh, it didn't stick to the magnet. So I'm impressed with it. Nice scratch, too. There it is there. Nice chalky scratch on it. I'll put that over there. Wow, what's this? little brutalist number here, but it's just a base metal, but it's still pretty. Nice statement piece there. And it's just the pendant. That's interesting. But you can slide something through there. That's kind of cool. I like that. Here is a copper. I don't know. It almost could be sterling. It, sterling tends to change colors too, guys. It's not sticking. It almost looks uh, golden sometimes when it gets so tarnished. I know many times I've dismissed them, and they turn out to be sterling. So I'm going to look at this one a little more carefully. The color is, is not quite copper and not quite brass. And we'll get back with you on that one, see if it is. Okay. A pretty cross pendant here. Oh, that's lovely. Aqua colored stones. Champagne colored stones. I don't see any missing, but I'm half blind. Y'all have to tell me. But I see better in the camera than I can. Oh, look at the pretty chain on it, too. Amber colored stones. That is really pretty. And these are cabochon and these are faceted in the middle. How much did I pay for the bag? The bag was $49.99. It's huge and heavy. And I paid about $37 with my discount. $49. And this store sometimes even has them as high as $69. And once they had a couple for 80 but I left them. They were huge jars, but... And I tell them, no, no, not beyond my price. But... And sometimes I know that they're they're switching their, you know, their model. Because I'll go back during a Tuesday or a Monday after I had seen them on Saturday. And they're still there. So then I really think they rethink things and start repricing them a little bit lower. Maybe making two bags instead of a huge one like that or something. Another crucifix. Because people aren't going to buy them, you know? And if they do, they'll buy them once, and then they realize, hey, I may have paid too much for that, and they don't come back. Oh, this is heavy. This is a expandable with really pretty stones all over it. That is a cute one. Every time I put one on, I'm afraid it's going to pop. That's the dilemma we face with the expandables, but they're so cute. Some of them are just precious. They really are. And they're kind of an AB stone there in the middle. It looks like one is one missing right there. Yeah, I think one's missing. Two. Yep, two missing there. Oh, what a shame. Oh, that magnet makes so much noise. That is really cute though. So I think I will likely put this in my crafter lot that I'm gonna sell one day when it fills up. It's not full yet. Um this is some beads, kind of rosary style, in a way. Interesting. Here are some cute earrings, beads, some hoops, multi-hoops. I don't think they're silver, and they're not. And I will marry those later. Put them in the little silver jar. Oh, here's a black one that matches the orange and still tagged as well. They're cute together. They look very cute. Ready for the music festivals. Oh, wow. Some crafting in the house here, for sure. And it was during the 80s, I believe. But it's kind of Mardi Gras, too. Look at that purple and greenish hue. <laughs> Just a piece of cardboard there, and yeah, put that there. A little stretch in wood. And here are some baby blue beads, but they do have a, 
a uh, lobster claw there. These are cute. They're like braided, nicely made. We have another pearl, because the other one's down there. Yeah, we got two of these. So we could go with matching wrists. The dual, the duo of pearls. That's kind of cute. Very cute. Yeah, you guys have to go watch Guillermo's video, guys. He unboxed a thread up, tore into it. <laughs> I gotta go leave a comment. I just haven't had a chance, but I will. Oh, this is cute. It's got a tree. And I think it says something. Let me see what it says there on the top. It says 925 KOB Gandhi. Gandhi. Okay, maybe it says a. I guess it's got a Gandhi quote here. Let me see. Yes, it's pretty long. Right there. Cool. Happiness is where? No, happiness is when what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. Oh my gosh, is that not true? That is cool. Yeah, and then it's got a little tree of life or something. And it's sterling. Nice. So that's a second piece of sterling we find. Hey, Kathy Valentine, I'm glad you're here. Guys, there's 114 people watching. I'm really honored. I just can't thank you enough. Please be sure and hit that thumbs up. And if you got to go, do it before you go to bed. The chain is sterling as well. And if you haven't subscribed, I hope you'll take the time to do it today. I think you'll enjoy the content here. We love looking at jewelry. We love talking about jewelry. And we also, some of us, resell this beautiful stuff. So, ooh, look, it's like, perforated there it's a cutout that's lovely oh that's pretty i love that gandhi saying that quote so be sure and, and subscribe and i will do all kinds of videos as well as the unjarrings i like to do ride-alongs i like to do unboxings and thrift hauls and all of that this is cute guys i don't know what it is it's probably silver tone it's got like rhinestones or something encrusted in it and it's silver tone it's pretty it's like a little bouquet of roses in there or something that's kind of cute silver tone i have a ring lock working back there as well put that back there oh a sterling one i believe at least that's what it looks like from my eyes let's see what it says it's got little turquoise it is genuine turquoise and it's probably a vintage Native American. No stamps. The, my favorite kind. Kind of matches my little pinky ring I found the other day. It's a little big, though, but it's nice. So that's cool. I like that one. Here's another ring. Oh, my gosh. This was a good bag, guys. I'm impressed with all the rings, even the fun ones that are just sterling. Or, I mean, uh, silver tone. They're fun to wear. Hey, Cynthia, I'm glad you're here. Let me see. Oh, it's got baguettes and a solitaire in the middle there. A very nice one. Gold tone. Really pretty. Yeah. That's pretty. Put that over there. And some earrings. We'll marry them later. I think we do have a match here on this one now. These are cute. Look at those. Red. Perfect for the holidays. These are nicely made. These are cute. All right. I love when we have a pair. We have another expandable with rhinestones. Very nice rhinestones, I might add. Cute. Another expandable. This one matches the other turquoise-looking one that we got earlier. <clears throat> this is a huge bag, right? Let me take a drink. Let me take a break. I told y'all to get a snack. <laughs> and I'm trying to read some comments. Looks like Gloria's here. Kim, thanks so much for being here. 
Stop showing me. Oh, which one is the one you like, Leanne? <laughs> That's what Kelly was saying about the purple one. Oh my God, that blue. Yes, it is. Is that what it is? A lace agate? It's awesome. It really is. Yeah. I like the shape of it. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, I think the ring is probably going to be the score of the night, but we still have a big pile. Check it out. Hopefully something else will be in there. I can't remember what we found when we found all those crucifixes. But so far we have like 13 of them, so maybe something good's coming up. And another good thing or two will come in as well. I've been staying away from the jars a little bit. I, I passed up about three of them because, again, they were too much for too little. And then they had a bag that was a lot of watches and bangles and a few other things. And I was like, no, nah, it looks like they just filled it up with filler, you know. Okay. All right, let's continue. If I missed you, I'm sorry. And I really appreciate you being here. We do have a match on the 1980s Mardi Gras. Let's go. Yeah. But they're going to go in the earring lot. Because people like that stuff. Just because you don't like it doesn't mean other people don't. Another pretty pink one. These were really made nicely, though. They re This will look good with these little, this little ensemble if you're into pink. How cute is that together? Just to, you know, break it up a little bit. Lots of pink rhinestones today. And a little beaded number here. Stretch. Looks like turquoise. But it's probably just faux. This is pretty. This is a nice, rich amethyst color in this stretch. Really cute. Oh, my goodness. I think I found one of these last time, but I don't remember if it was a butterfly. This is a puffy enameled butterfly. Look, it's like open. So cute. Pendant. That is precious. And I think I found one similar in the last time I opened a bag from this store. I'm getting like a lot of the same vibe. Deja vu. That's a cute pendant. Very cute. Okay, here's here's something really nice. What does it say? I want to see what the tag says. Oh my gosh, that magnet. Every time it falls, it makes that horrible noise. I'm sorry. It says blue topaz. Okay, 40 bucks. Blue topaz. It better be sterling then. Let's check it out. I wonder if the other one... No, we didn't find it. We found the plasticky ones. Okay, it's not sticking. Let's, let's look further. $40. It better be sterling for that price. That's cute. Sure looks like it. Yeah, I bet this is sterling, guys. I just don't see the mark right off the bat. But let me keep looking. It's so small, too. Blue topaz. Hmm. Let me scratch it. Let's scratch it up. Yeah, it's got a nice scratch. No chipping. It's got a nice chalky scratch. This is very, very likely sterling. Oh my gosh, it's blue topaz. That is cute. That is a nice fit too. Oh my gosh. Yep, I'm gonna get back with you on that. I'm certain it's sterling. Says blue topaz says forty dollars. Better be topaz. It better be sterling. Oh, we found that other sterling too. That rattle one. So so far, quite a few sterling pieces. That's really nice. I hope this is something good. Kind of look like James Avery a little bit, but maybe not. The hook on dick. Cause see, I have this one. This one right here is like the classic James Avery. And I found this one in a jewelry jar with the horse. And I sold the horse this weekend for $50.
And these bracelets that I, these bracelets in the store are $80. On eBay, they're $50 to $60 all day long. So that's what I thought this one was. But um, let me see what this little, it might just be silver tone. This one, yeah, this is just silver tone. It's so cute, though. Look at that pretty cross. It's like little crystals in there. It says L.A. L.A. is the mark on it. It's really cute. But you can tell by the metal that it's silver tone. Let me let you look at the metal close-up, guys. For those of you who are unfamiliar, some of us know a little bit more than others. I know I'm constantly learning, but can you see the difference in the metal between the silver and the silver tone? You can just see the little ridges that are different. Even the shine is different. You know, or with this bigger one, you can just see. And once you start looking at these more and more, you really do get familiar with what sterling looks like off the bat. But then they fool you sometimes when they come up with something like this that looks almost bronze because it's so tarnished because sterling actually turns even kind of blue when it gets really tarnished. These are broken. They match and they're broken. Silver tone bangles. Two of them. One of them is broken. Put that in the craft a lot. Oh, that's a cute little pendant that looks like sterling too that is interesting I don't know what that is that's an interesting material this is definitely sterling yeah there it is marked you see it at the top right there and this one you can see too just gets a different tarnish I don't know what this material is. I guess probably like a horn material. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's really pretty, though. Hey, Roberta. Thanks for joining us. All right, another sterling piece there. Nice, nice. Jewelry nurse, I'm so glad you're still here. <laughs> I feel like people left me <laughs> when they get this long. So I'm glad y'all are still hanging in there. I hope you brought your popcorn or something. My husband went and got us some dinner, and I was like, I don't want to eat dinner so late, but I'll eat half of it, and then I'll eat the rest for breakfast. And believe me, I do eat it for breakfast. I wake up so hungry. Okay, this is a big sideways cross. It's just a um, kind of a gangster-looking thing to me. Hip-hop or something, I don't know. Kind of interesting, though, and, but it's just silver tone. As far as I can see, looks like silver tone. Mm, let me see. Oh, a noisy one. A melodic one, I should say. This is probably like a little cultural performance or something with the bells. Wow. Super, though. I love the sound. And we have a wire earring stuck in there, so I have to get that out. But it's just a really long chain. Maybe it goes around the neck or the waist. I'm not sure. See the hooks and everything? So definitely some kind of a folkloric thing or something. Let me see who else is here. Raven at... Raven's treasure chest is here. Hey, Anita, thanks for showing up. And let me see, Misty Brandy or Brady? I'm, I can't see very well, and then I'm looking at it sideways. So if I say your name wrong, please excuse me. All right, and I think I said hello to Lisa. Hey, Mike. Mike over to Crazy Cards in the house, too. He does content, too, so check him out on Earring. Very, very exotic as well. Green. Some other gold. Oh, this is cute. Yellow on the inside. Really rich gold color. And 
long strand of beads. These are cute. Multicolored. Oh my goodness. These, well, they have a little, I think they're knotted together. That's what happened. But uh, just a huge strand of beads here, guys. Very fun. Hippie-esque. <laughs> Hippie-esque. Well, it was, I think I was telling you guys the other day, they used to call them love beads back in the day. I guess now they call them boho. And this is a piece of something I think someone was crafting with this. So I'll put that in the bead lot as well. More of these children's expandable. Same stuff from that one jar last time. More of these. And, oh, this is pretty. This is a pretty combination. Red and green. Another expandable. Cute. Another crucifix. I think that makes 15. That's right. Oops, sorry. 15 of them, I think, already. Oh, another crafty piece. But I don't even think they finished this one, guys. That's definitely going to have to go in the wastebasket. <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting necklace. This is pretty. These are, again, those exotic-looking, Asian-inspired or Bollywood. I don't know. But there's quite a few of them at my Goodwills. I always get that kind of stuff. Do you guys get regional stuff that you kind of recognize? Oh, that's definitely one of our bags. We get a lot of that. And then, of course, we get some James Avery and just, you know, like what I call cowgirl. Cowgirl chic or tacky chic. Tacky, cow, tac, tacky Texas chic. This is pretty. Um, feels a little cold. It is glass. Could be jade. I don't know. Let me look at it. It says 750 Italy. No, it says 750 plated. So it's not 18 karat. It's plated. It is jade. Yeah, I can see the fibrous nature of it. You can't see it here. You can see it when you put it against a light. You can really see that fiber, fibrous nature of it. It's pretty cool. So that's nice. I wish it was on, I don't know, but so many things are not on precious metal. Like I said, I ran into this bracelet and they're genuine pearls and genuine jade and they're just on a base metal. But that was pretty common back in the 60s and 70s. Jade and even garnets was considered costume jewelry. So they didn't really put it on, on precious metal. Here's another stretch. Very cute though. And that's why we have so many like this that I showed you from my favorite honey hole over in in Chicago that says genuine oriental jade and it's just just a gold tone or maybe even I think as far as they get is maybe gold filled so it was pretty common here's another one that I ran into in another jar but they're beautiful and I love having them too to be able to study the real thing for for when I do run into the fakes or you know the imitations I'll be able to decipher the real from the fake. That's an interesting bracelet. It's a stretch as well, but it's like a double. So that's cute. Another rhinestone thing here. Got quite a few of these. These are fun though. They really are cute. More stretchy with rhinestones. I have a whole st I, stretchy thing working again. Here's a like a moonstone opalite. I think it's I think it's on copper or brass. I mean uh, bronze. It's kind of heavy. I guess it's called an opalite, right? Like an imitation opal. It's cute. Yeah, this is copper. It looks like it was gold tone or silver tone at one time, but it's definitely a copper base. So I like that. That's cool. Let me take off the other one we found earlier. Oh my gosh, it's 
a little tight. This one was cute. Thanks for getting the trolls, guys. <laughs> but this one's cute, too. I'll put that one on now. It's actually a little bigger. Here's another ring. Looks like an S or some kind of swirl. And this is just silver tone. Cute. Put those rings there. Another watch. Nice band on it. Just a cheap little watch. And, okay, lots of rhinestones. Again, this one's actually cute. Put all of these together. I'm getting lots of these rhinestone bangles together. Still haven't had the match come up on this red one that we found. Sterling piece. I hope I find that one. Another ring. These costume pieces are cute, though. Look at this one. Really nice. Just gold tone, but cute, cute, cute. Oops. Okay. We have a silvery cross. This looks like a set of earrings I had once that I lost on New Year's Eve. I don't know how they fell off of me. But they did. This is a heavy cross, though. Let me take a look at it, y'all. It might be silver. You know, I gotta look. The chain looks like it's gold tone. Is it picking up? Yeah, it's probably a copper. It's picking up slightly. It's pretty though. And the chain has more wear than the cross, so that's interesting. Hey, Robert Jones, how are you? It's a pretty stretch. We didn't do a bad job on that one. Let's slip it on. Every time I slip them on, I think they're gonna pop, but this one didn't. Kind of cute. Let me see. Oh, a post. That's a pretty one. A stretch ring. <laughs> Uh, this is so funny. It's just a band, but it's actually a stretch as well. So that would be a nice thumb ring or something. See, that's cute. Cloisonne beads. It's some kind of pierced earring. We do have some matched up earrings here. So that's good. I like when they match them up. And here's another pair of pink ones. Those are such a cute pink. Really cute. I like that. And another cute ring. Some swirls. Just a silver tone enamel. Really pretty, though. Oh, we did get that Native American piece, too. I'll put this on. This is too big for me right now. But it's pretty. It's a very nice one. Okay, lots of nice rings so far. Here is a piece of the cross, the crucifix, that it's actually broken. They're piling them on so heavily, they're actually breaking them. Oh, this is pretty. It feels nice. What does it say? Leah Sophia? What a nice pendant. Look how it's curved. Looks like it says Leah Sophia. Yes, it does. On the tag as well. And the tag made exclusively for Leah. Very pretty. Oh, that would look very pretty on. It's a nicely made piece. It really is. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, we got a piece of a broken chain. This looks like it belongs to that belt or that jingly thing we found. Oh, this is a nice, hefty. I can't tell you how heavy this heart is. I wonder if it's like a little worry token or something. Wow, it's super heavy. Let me look at it. A lot of swirls. A la Brighton looking. But I don't see anything. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see how it scratches. No, nope. no good scratch on that. That's interesting, though. 
wonder where it came from. I wonder what it is. That's a pretty earring. That's a very nice earring. Silver tone. Cute. All right. Let's see what pops. <laughs> oh, those are cute. Really cute earrings, too. Marry that later. These are pretty, too. Silver tone, but they're cute. Lightweight hoop in gold tone. Hey, Cindy, how are you? That is cute. Guys, we still have 132 people watching and 65 people were kind enough to put that thumbs up. Can y'all go over there and do it? We'll do it all together. I promise it won't hurt to go do that. It really helps grow the channel. And while you do that, guys, check out all the people that make content in my chat as well. Cindy just popped in, and she's trying to get to her 1K if she hasn't already done so. So go ahead and click on her picture if you're on your phone or hover over by her name and get um, to her channel. It says go to her channel, and it won't even take you off of my channel. Go over there and click to subscribe, and then come back, and let's finish this haul. This is cute. Rope gold tone, I'm sure, but super cute. Let me see. No marks, but it's cute. I love stacking these up, though. With the pearls and stuff, they look really cute. See, I'll throw that on there tomorrow with those pearls. They look cute. More crucifixes. Gosh almighty. Look at that. We have, like, oh my gosh. I'm telling you, I really want to know who got out of, look, it's even breaking. Who got out of the rosary business here? <laughs> I've got to do something with these. I've got to put them on eBay. I know somebody wants these. I think I have 30 of them now because this happened with the other bag too. But I don't want to complain too much because I think that's why we got a good bag anyway. Clip-ons with pearls. Look at that. That's cute. Oh, we got a match. Can't beat that. Can't beat that. Some people love their big pearl clip-on earrings. That's a good addition to my lot, to my earring lot. Another pink one. This one's this one was reduced to eight. The other ones were 12. Oh my gosh, this one's missing rhinestones though. But this is a good harvest lot. I mean, a good harvest piece because those are pretty. They give off different colored. They're like A, B. And then even the pink ones give off kind of a opalescent color to them. They're cute. So we have quite a few of those. And I think we had a match to this one. We'll marry it later. There's another one. And, oh my gosh, there's streamers in here and everything. It's a red one, a purple one. Let me see what else is in here. Oh, this is a part of a lanyard. You can make a little lanyard or something out of that. Put that in the crafter lot. And let's see what else will pop out. Oh, we do have the match to this one. That's good. Let me pull this one right out of here. We got a match to add to the earring lot. I don't know what the heck that is, but it's not very attractive until you comb it out, I guess. Oh, I think it was a pendant. Yeah. I'm actually crazy about that. That reminds me of a horse's tail or something. It's just not that attractive. Maybe if it was in another color. I don't know, craft a lot. All right, got a little angel. She's weighty, just like that heart. Hmm. Where could these have gone? That is so interesting. They almost look like game tokens or something. Oh, here's a pretty mesh bracelet. That's cute. I'll check it with the magnet. Oh, it is just base metal, but cute anyway. I like it. Let's flip that one on. That's a cute earring. Beads. Sparkles. Okay. Some white jewelry. Oh my goodness, we got this one in white too. 
Remember I told you earlier, we I have it in almost every color. Oh, look, here's some loose stones already. Well, we got it in black today, and now we got it in white, too. And I know I have it in green or orange in my stash back there. Yeah, the stones are just popping out everywhere. So another statement piece in white. It's pretty in white, and it's pretty in black. Can't go wrong with those two basic colors. Okay, here's a cross that belongs. Lots of crosses. Okay, oh my goodness. Let's see if I can untangle some of this. Hmm. Guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I hope you'll do so tonight. I love to do these in jarrings, and I'm really taking to do, doing them live, especially after I was told that people really don't mind sitting through the tangles. <laughs> and I, I like to edit them too, but uh, they, do, they are time consuming to do the edits. So, And I think it's just really exciting when you run into something nice right here in real time. Oh, this is cute. Guys, I actually sold something like this, so don't scoff at this stuff. People love this rich, gaudy, southwest look. And, um, yeah, they go for it. I sold it on Posh. That is cute. Yeah, you may call it gaudy, and some people will call it very chic. So I'm going to wash it up, though. Oh, look, there's the rhinestones. Hide it backwards. Cute. Needs a little wash. I can feel that dust or whatever on it. Some kind of gunk on it, so I'm going to put that over there so I can wash it. Here's a little metal stretch. Metal beads there. And let's see what else do we have here. Some dyed shell. Broken pieces, so that'll definitely go in the crafter lot. Yet another rhinestone bangle with $8 on it. We're up to a lot of rhinestone bangles. See? Lots and lots. And a huge bangle. Wow. It's a big size. Look at that. No struggle at all getting that one on. That is just silver tone. Some busted pieces here. That's what happens with those stretchies. Some of them just don't make it very long. Okay. Gold hoops. Here's the gold hoops. Black hoops. Other hoops. This is a cute bead for Christmas. Little earring. We're almost done, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. I really appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up before you go. If you got to go to bed, I got to go to bed too. But I'm going to finish with this. And, um, oh, and don't forget to share this video too. If you're active on Instagram or Twitter or anything like that, share the videos that you like. That needs a wash too, but it's pretty. I like the blue, the ice blue color of it. It's really cute. So that'll go in the bath as well. Over there. Oh my gosh, this is interesting. But it's busted too. Look at that. like ceramic because they feel really heavy and then some kind of glass but it is broken so I'll put that in a beadlock back there oh that's cute and it's tagged what does it say Jessica Simpson that's a cute piece that's really pretty how she mixed all that or the designer did cute and then silver and gold beads as well. That's really pretty. I like the little mesh that I picked up a minute ago that I showed you. That's really cute too. Not a bad piece. Really cute. Okay, this is an earring. Looks like a Lucky Brand or something. And then another stretch with a tiny charm. Put that in the stretch. Oh, these are cute. And look at that. I picked them up matched. Christmas in the house. Can't go wrong with Christmas. Those are darling. 
They are heavy. I mean, they feel substantial. Nice enameling on them. I don't see a mark, but they're cute. Very pretty. It's always nice to get the Christmas jewelry. It sells well. All year long it sells, too. I'm still selling Christmas brooches. That's cute. That's a cute piece. What's going on with my lights? I feel like they turned off. It's a nice piece. I think we had a match there. And this is this is so cute, guys, but it's such a mess with that fishing wire. It's all the thing is not only does it get tangled, it gets wrinkled. So I'm not going to bother with it, but I'm going to put these pretty beads in a bead lot cuz these are darling. They really are. This is looks like that crochet, but it's beads and then this is threading all around. They almost look like little Chinese lanterns or something. They're cute. Sorry about that. So I tossed that over there to the bead lot. And let's see what else pops out of here before we call it a night. Oh, keys. We got some keys and hearts. Pretty key, rhinestone encrusted key there. It's, I think, all part of this necklace. No, it's two necklaces. Okay. This is a cute necklace. Oh, this is pretty. Rondells and pearls. Mm, let me see if there's any maker on it. No maker on it. But really cute. That's a pretty piece. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, and then here's the other that was tangled up with it. And that's got several charms as well, including that little encrusted key and everything. Cute. We have a hair piece. Always get those too. Not a hair piece, but a hair accessory. A tiny mini comb. Look at that. Look at that mess. Look at that mess. I just sometimes I just shake it out to see what what comes out. <laughs> and this came out. That's cute though. No missing rhinestones. It looks like it's actually really soft. Sometimes these pieces are rough. You know when they're not when they're inexpensive. Sometimes they have a rough texture, but this one feels pretty good. I'll put that in that jewelry lot. I'm going to list soon. And a chunk of something blue. Looks like a wad of bubble gum. Not very attractive. But it wouldn't be so bad if we found found the match, but we didn't. It's a blue air. I mean a crystal looking one. Pearls over here. Kind of on a Pandora looking chain. Cute. These are pretty, kind of like an add a pearl there on a snake chain necklace. Really cute. Feels nice and substantial too. It doesn't feel cheap. I'm going to hook this up and put it in the jewelry box over there. Well, craft lot and jewelry lot is what I'm working on. Like this is broken, so that's going in a craft lot. So it just needs a little repair. Some earrings with uh, no match that I saw. A big heavy metal bangle. I can't even tell what color it is. Probably brass. And a key ring. Crafter lot. Stretch. And did I show you this one? Yeah, I showed you that one. Another watch. I think this watch is the last of it. It's a little bit of turquoise nuggets falling off. I don't know where these came from, and these look like genuine turquoise, actually. I don't see where they could have come from, though. But I think that's it, guys. Yeah, I believe that is it. I don't think anything else fell. It was a really good bag for $37. $49. Well, wait, 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 wait. I have this on my lap. <laughs> 
Let me see what this watch is from. <laughs> Sorry. Don't leave yet. Hold on. This one just says quartz. Japan movement. Looks really old. Looks like from the 80s. And basically here we just have a piece. Oh, this is cute though. A geode or whatever they call these. That's cute. Still got a tag of $30. What in the world was it? What in the world is this? An earring? Because this is the stretch. But see, they get, there it is. It's an earring. Oh my gosh. Where's the other one though? To take that off and make up pendant out of it because who would want to wear that as an earring anyway it's very heavy look at that it's beautiful but I can't see anybody actually wearing it as an earring I think it would kill you and I don't see another one anyway of course it could be in the other bag and these are a tangled mess a tangled mess I'm going to leave to my husband these are pretty though look at these beads they're glass yeah, this is this is a mess. This gold one here is feeling a little flimsy. I'm not sure. If it, well, it's cute though. Look at the look at the tassel pearls. Did one of them break? Yeah, it looks like some of them broke. I like the chain though. I may save that chain and put it on something else. And I love these. These look like Mexican fire opal or something. So now, that's it, guys. Yeah, I'm going to let him go through that. Salvage those beads somehow. That's really a pretty bead. And the black eh, doesn't look that interesting. Just see, that's what happens with these fishing wire ones. They get wrinkled, and sometimes they stay wrinkled. But if you hang them up... And if they have some weight, oh my gosh, that blinded me when I was looking at it on the screen. If they have some weight to them, they can sometimes iron themselves out. But I really want to thank you for being here. I really appreciate you spending a little time with me. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you didn't already. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to my friends who are in the chat. There's a lot of really good content out, out, out there. And uh, there's nothing better than fresh content, right? So go out there and check them out.